Okay, this is number two. And um, when I was in college studying graphic design, we had to design uh, gift wrap or fabric. So this was, uh, I, I ripped apart my portfolio and threw a bunch of stuff away because it just didn't seem relevant anymore. And um, it seemed so like, I, I, you can't keep everything. So I got rid of a lot of it, but I kept the, um, the gouache designs that I did of the wrapping paper in, it came in three different colors, a blue, a pink, and then this green one. So I used the, um, used this to make the cover of this small junk journal, although it's pretty chunky. And then there's the seam binding and I grommeted it to the cover. And so, um, put some map on the inside. This is an old cover to a book, which I thought was kind of fun it into a pocket and here's something I've had for a long time just a bag to a store I don't know what it says I think it's Swedish but I love the colors so I kept that as you can probably tell I just about keep everything I pick up things for next time I pick up things really inexpensively if I can and then just keep them compliments of the season um, I don't know where I got that Oh, that's my girlfriend's um, business card, I think. She grows her own, she has her own cutting garden and she sells her flowers every year. Beautiful garden. This is not from an old aviation book from World War II. Greeting card. I love this photograph, mother and daughter. So this I have a little, it's some spots for journaling. 1920s again. I just love the 1920s. The fashion, the hair, the graphics. There's that same greeting card that I had in the other book I just showed. There's my daughter again. Now, this is a gift. This is a tag from her, some clothing thing she wore. And then she had these really great boots that had these up the side. And so I liked them. I just cut that out and I thought, I'll keep it. So here it is. Another clothing tag. I collect buttons, white buttons, so I made a little tag with white buttons there. This is all the, we went to Disneyland, all the Disneyland rides and stuff. The kids used to get, in Spanish class, they used to get these tags for doing, speaking well, or completing an assignment, or you know, some fancy, some good thing they did in class. I kept those. Little kitty. Personal values. I think I found this on the street too. Honesty, integrity. You know, look down when you're walking around. You'll be amazed at what you'll find. It's kind of scary sometimes. This one is a uh, German, I think. I don't know where I got that. Another book illustration. You know, when I rip apart books, I save the illustrations and get rid of a lot of the text because there's so much. I mean, I, I really rip apart so many books because I make lots of journals. So I save the illustrations. And the ones that I like, I keep. Butterfly. Here's more British stuff, in case you haven't noticed. I'm not real. I, that's where I'm from originally with my family. This is uh, West Kirby, Thurston Hill. There's a big rock there called Thurston, Thor's Stone, which all the kids in the in the village grew up climbing. My brother and I used to climb on that thing too when we go to visit. And the, the old Ring of Bells Hotel, it's still there. Doesn't look anything like this, but it's like a watering hole for the village. So that was fun. My parents used to go and hang out there when they were kids. More bus tokens and... Here's one of those library pockets. I backed it with some paper. Flowers, I love flowers. Don't know what's under there, but. If I had, oh, it's back there with that greeting card there. Carpe diem, seize the day. What's your favorite food? Tell it like it is, Green, you know, gift card. Here's another one of those clothing tags from my daughter. Twins, and then behind that, I just made you know these little green collage kind of things. So when you take it out, it, it kind of works too, but then you can add things in there. This 
Starbucks card and put a little illustration in there. I wish that you could, I wish that they still had these on the counter where you could just kind of snag what you wanted, but I haven't had the guts to ask them for the cards. <laughs> you know, thank you. It's probably some thank you card from somebody. I don't know who. Another spot for journaling. This is a end paper from a children's book. Washi tape, which remarkably is sticking very well. These are those photo circles I like so much that I make from all the little tiny photos I have that, you know, a little teeny person in the middle of this big, huge photograph. This is Woody and Vera. Um, I've put them in a lot of my journals just because they're this really wonderful couple. So in love with each other. Um, he gave her greeting cards for every occasion throughout the year. Even Mother's Day, even though they didn't have children. This is this is one of the greeting. This is a party that they were invited to. They were quite social. I bought uh, about five or six of her aprons because she's quite the entertainer. They had a guest book. I bought the guest book. They, I bought aprons, which I sold in my Etsy store. Some greeting cards. It's not going to stick up there. Another, ad, another place I used to live. Um... Yeah, I just put the little, in the window, a map and created this sort of little collage here. New Hotel, Portland, Oregon. This is where my daughter used to live, but there's just stationery and graphics. Yeah, so. again. I like to do this to, you know, create little, look, it's like a tuck spot. You could tuck a, um, a journaling card under there, but it's also creates some interest when you use just scrap papers that you have. Again, <clears throat> you don't have to spend a ton of money. Just use what you have in your house. Because if you're into crafting at all, you have way too much stuff things that you know you're never going to go through and you're like, what am I going to do with all this stuff? Make a little scrapbook. Experiment, play, create little vignettes and then you can like repeat them again. Scotland is also close to my heart because I have family up there. I have family in Scotland, Wales, and England. <clears throat> this is from a little book, but I like the poem. Indian wisdom. This is also from an old calendar, but I love the trees. I love something about skeleton trees. Put stuff in there. This is an old gum wrapper that, again, found on the street. Put a little map inside. Create a little hidey hole. Could do something inside there. Book plates. Another postcard from the UK, London Bridge. I got samples from this paper company, which I think has gone out of business. I can't find them. I used to be able to get little samples, purchase them, and they had this really cool felted paper. Just, you know, and you just like, when you make your pocket, you put them, put things in there, and you arrange them so that there's different heights and Create some interest there. Pocket from an old book. Birds. I love birds. So, ah, there's my baby. Collecting money at some volunteer thing we used to do at the church. Tags for writing on. Smocking. There we go. Just some different kind of paper clips things in and you can remove them and move them around and play with things and oh I did this is a market I did every week last year. This year we're only gonna do it once a month because it was so much work and I didn't really get much return on that investment of time. I find that being in the studio and creating stuff is much more efficient for me. So, oh, here's some 
more Empire Builder Railway stuff. Just a collection of interesting, you know, war ration book cards. I just can't, I'm not ready to destroy those yet. Can't do that yet. So, <clears throat> those will stay there for a while. Yep. And there you have it. Another true junk journal. No rhyme or reason to it. Just a collection of things that speak to me, that I enjoy. So, do something like this for yourself. Just take what you have in your home and make something beautiful for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.